everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to empower and inspire your wig journey. Today I continue my Wig Pro series with what I'm wearing here. This style is called Viva M. I have this in two colors. We're gonna do a live unboxing, coming up. Viva M is a mid-length, lush, full-bodied bob style cut with some flips and contours. This style was sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video and expand the description box, I will attach a product link directly to this style as well as the other Wig Pro styles. This will go out to the site and allow you to see all of the colors and pricing you can order right from the links if you wish. If you have any questions for Wig Studio One, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. This Viva M is the first in my Wig Pro series that is 100% hand tied. I will be sure to give you a really thorough look at the cap when we do our unboxing. So this 1488A starts with a medium kind of amber gold blonde. Now that is a soft amber gold. It's not brassy in tone. And then that's heavily highlighted with a light or pale gold blonde. It's a very dynamic, light, warm blonde overall. And this is not a rooted color. There are approximately 16, 17 colors available on this style when I looked at it, and none of them are rooted colors. But there's some really amazing cap features here, hand-tied features, that you really don't need a rooted color to cover up any permatease or wefting because there's none of either. So I described this style as being a lush, full-bodied bob style with some flips and bends. It's swingy, it's bouncy, it just really behaves like a nice, natural, healthy head of human hair. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Diane Sawyer, the news anchor. Um, I've always admired her hairstyles throughout the years. She's a beautiful woman and a very talented uh, news anchor, but I always noted her hairstyles and they always seem to be that short to mid-length, very swingy, full-bodied bob style. So right around the front, You've got lots of layering at the front, anywhere between seven to 10 inches. So you're gonna see a nice face framing effect right off of the bat, just because this fringe just comes right down over the side. And then you have uh, those 10 inch layers coming down to create some little flips. Now the way this behaves is much like, uh, much like naturally wavy hair, because you'll have one that goes this way and one that goes this way. You know, I really rather prefer that than both of them, both sides just kind of flipping out in a uniform fashion. This gives it uh, just a nice natural look. And those flips and contours kind of carry throughout the style in the back. And from the crown down, it's about 12 inches. If you stretched it out, maybe 13, but it's a nice, mid-length style that just drops below the collar on most people. So again, this one does feature a fully hand-tied cap. You'll see a temple-to-temple -temple lace front, single hand-tied monofilament top, and then a hand-tied base throughout. So there's no permatease on this style, but I feel like because of these full-bodied fibers, you can really get some nice volume and bounce, even on the top, if you just wanna fluff it up a little bit. The manufacturer's photos really don't do this one any justice at all. It kind of looks stiff and unnatural in those photos, but I gotta tell you, there's some really nice movement on this one. Like I said, it's just a swingy, bouncy bob style. Uh, each one of these fibers is a, a fine, soft, kind of silky fiber. And there's quite a bit of it here. I would call this a nice average density, um, but there is enough fiber just to give it, like I say, that full lush, full bodied look. But it doesn't look like an overwhelming amount of hair either. And I think that's because of the hand tied cap. It does keep that profile down somewhat. This Viva style is right out of the box. I had it out of the box. I kind of divided the hair into a parting space that I liked. And then I held, I uh, hung it on a, a wig stand until this review. Now the second one, I have not even seen yet. I did peek at the color by lifting the lid, but that's it. So you're gonna be able to see it right along with me. The color is called Pearl. 
and I did pick up the color. So let's go ahead and unbox. This is a part of the Valley Collection by Wig Pro. Some really fantastic cut features on this one. There it is in the box, pearl. It just reminds me of like a platinum mix, a toned platinum mix. We will see. Okay, there we go. Wow, that is really light and bright, isn't it? Now these, te these colors tend to really reflect all of the studio lighting. And um, it's, this one does not appear to be shiny whatsoever, but I'll bet that uh, when I edit this, you'll, you'll see a little bit of a glare. That's just because of the color. Okay, wow. Again, sensing that lush, full-bodied style. Let's take a look at this cap. The cap is 100% hand tied, according to the manufacturer. So let's check it out. There is a temple to temple lace front. Um, it extends slightly back into the ear tab. And I like that because that eliminates the, the seam look right there at the front. They don't square it off. They actually take that lace front all the way around and blend it seamlessly into the ear tab. I love that. There is a little bit of a polyurethane strip there just to separate the lace from the monofilament. Seems to be a nice illusion of scalp there. This is a single hand tied monofilament and a closed velvet ear tab. Then the nape is an extended felted nape with Velcro style adjusters. Now what you will see here is a hand tied base. This is a mesh style hand tied base. It almost looks like a tool material here. And this has some hand tied uh, cluster knots there. Okay, everything is enclosed in this, in this cap. And then at the back, you're going to see several integrated wefts right there at the back. This is just to give some support and structure to this cap is a really nice, comfortable fit. Um, I did have to cinch this in a little bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. There's not very much stretch on this one. Okay, this is the hand tied cap on Viva. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tags here. Okay, so let me describe to you the fit. This is a true average cap. This fit exactly like the first piece. I have, I'm gonna have to cinch it in just a little to accommodate my petite average circumference. Um, there's not much stress, but stretch, but there's really nice coverage at the ear tabs. I sense that the ear tabs and the nape are sturdy enough just to feel the security of having the wig on. Sometimes a minimal hand tight cap, um, it doesn't give you much of a sense of security. And I think this one really does. Now I should probably go ahead and shake it out, but I think I can manage this piece just with the uh, swirling around at the base of the cap to set the fiber free. Now I do wanna work on that parting space. And I think I'm going to use a brush for that. Okay, so I definitely want to disrupt the weave pattern right there at the part. Again, a full monofilament top so you could part it in any direction. Now what I want you to know is, I have heard that some people get frustrated when they read or see somebody talk about how you can uh, switch up a part or part it in any direction on a full monofilament top and then they get it and it's a little stubborn to work with changing the part and that's a source of frustration for some. So what you have to realize is that uh, right from the factory, typically you will see the hair divided a little left of center and then it's packaged. So like I said, those, those fibers are really compacted against that cap. We have to wake them up. And like I see, you can do that by swirling around, brushing, manipulating that part, separating it, giving it that nice airy feeling. And 
that part is still gonna be a little bit stubborn. So what happens is when you try to change it, you know, it kind of wants to go right back to that original part that it was in when it came to your doorstep. So what you have to do is just get in there with the heat of your hands and kind of smash it down right at the parting space that you want. And if that's opposite of how it came right in the box, that's okay. Again, this full monofilament top, you can part it anywhere. You just may have to work at changing the part. Now, I happen to prefer that left of center part. So most of the time, I don't have a problem changing the parts um, because I don't do that very often. But you can see that I easily accomplish this with the heat from my hand. Um, there's a little bit of resistance that you're going to have to overcome when you change the part on a full monofilament top. Those knots just don't move freely yet and you have to wake it up. So let's talk about this color before I move on and forget this is pearl. So based on my eye here, what I'm looking at, I didn't see a manufacturer's description, um, but it looks like it might be almost a pure white base. And then within that then, just some, some satiny blonde, some really pale satiny blonde mixed in just to add a little bit of dimension. It's not enough to warm it up, but you, I think you can just sense the dimension. It's not a dramatic dimension effect. It's not warm. There's no yellow in this at all. Okay, what I'll do next is I'll do a side-by-side -side for you uh, of both colors, both indoor and outdoor light, and then we'll do some styling for Viva M. So let's do some styling for Viva M. Uh, really, all you need to do is find a really good parting space for this style and then work it into something that you really enjoy because it's almost perfect right out of the box. Um, it's really nice to tuck. There's, Like I say, there's no permatease, so it's very tuckable. It has beautiful movement. And this fiber is not heat friendly. It's uh, made from the Cancalon fiber by Wig Pro, um, which is 100% synthetic. Okay, let's go ahead and try with my glasses here. Get that true Diane Sawyer lit going. <laughs> oh, it fits great between the ear and the ear tab on this style. Effortless. for joining me today for a look at the Viva M style by Wig Pro in their ballet collection. Be sure to check it out at Wig Studio One. We'll see you again soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.